Okay, what am I looking at? It's a flighter! A flying spider! You know this is a Photoshop, right? Flying spiders aren't real. But what if they were? <sighs> Here we go again. Hmm. Maybe not all spiders. That might be a bit too terrifying. We'd probably have to just burn down the whole ecosystem and start over again. Or never go outside. Ever. But then we'd have to find better ways to keep them from getting inside, too. I mean, they already get in anyway. Let me in! Let me in! Now there'd be more of them. Spider nets? I don't know if that would work. Spiders are too crafty. Like jumping spiders. They can solve obstacle courses and make plans that would make Ocean's Eleven blush. They're also surprisingly cute. You know, for spiders. Any way you look at it, a new mutation to all spiders would have massive consequences on the ecosystems that they exist in already. But what if there was a specific breed of spider that could fly using wings? Let's make up an ecosystem. A jungle island. Because all the worst spiders live in the jungle. Like the Brazilian wandering spider, or the Goliath bird-eating spider. You know, that spider that eats birds. Let's call our jungle island Spiderlandia. Now, it needs an ecosystem. Thick forest, green canopies, lots of places for bugs to live. Yeah, that works. Animals, let's generalize. Lemurs, jaguars, snakes, bats, parrots. Yeah, that sounds right. Now, add in the flying spiders. What would that do? Well, these new spiders could set up webs wherever they wanted to. Treetop webs? Uh, wait, those exist already. How about webs between trees? Or even bigger webs? Wait, how big would these spiders be? Would they get too big? They couldn't get that big and keep flying, right? What's the biggest insect? Oh, wait, the Japanese hornet is about as big as my hand. I don't know if I can deal with a flying spider that large. What would these spiders eat anyways? Bugs? Or the spiders? They could even probably eat rats or birds, depending on how big they got. Maybe they wouldn't eat rodents. If they're a flying species, they'd probably stick to higher up in the jungle canopies. No reason to go skittering around in the ground after all. Not worth getting eaten by another predator. What kind of wings would they even have? Not butterfly wings. Not fly wings. Maybe something like dragonfly wings. That sounds right. The Dobson fly has wings like that, and it's almost as big as an adult face. Ugh. That's worse than the hornet. Since they can fly, they may not even use webs to catch their prey. Maybe they'd be more like jumping spiders or tarantulas and prey on targets they can get to jump on. They could attack their prey from above, jump down, bite into the back of creatures, and... What about the effects these spiders would have on the local ecosystem? Well, some of their prey would develop defenses against them, no doubt. Camouflage, sensory developments to warn them if a spider was coming. The placement of their eyes may even change over time to give them a better view of above, if they're an insect. Maybe some of the local flora would even evolve to prey on them. Flypaper trap plants that would dissolve flying spiders. That's terrifying. I'm glad I made this up. Wait, there is that one spider that collides after all. Well, I guess I can handle gliding spiders. It's not like spiders can just let out strands of silk and fly away on the wind. <laughs> Wait, spiders do that. It's called ballooning. So there are spiders that fly already. Huh. Well, I guess I don't get to sleep tonight after all. <laughs>